Hey, what's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back once again in Beam and G Drive here today for something a little bit different. We've got the heated pursuits lined up and ready to go once again here today. We've got our third pursuit after our last video seemed to go over pretty well, so we're back again trying something a little bit different this time, obviously, with the camera path editor back once again, working a little bit of magic. And this time, I think I might even back off the commentary a little bit. I did some live in the moment stuff, and I'm doing some post commentary over the replays because how could you not commentate some of these cinematics? sends but we might do some videos in the future that just have no commentary and our pure sound we might have to commentate when our deputy throws one in the door of our suspect here and look at us we didn't get out of this scot free either we got to hit a hybrid at the camera angles watch us bounce off the suburban city wall and knock us back onto the road here so we can pin this guy in hopefully if he doesn't back away from us here so with that i'm gonna leave you guys to the video here i hope you enjoy it this may be a new era of beam videos on this channel, so let's get to it. This guy's a notorious speeder. Can I not just take him out right here before we even get going? Or maybe no, oh, that thing shot me straight to the wall. Over and over we go. This is a horrific accident. Well, he got away. It would appear my deputy here gets terrified extremely easily. Might be in the wrong line of work if that is the case. I'm in the right line of work because I'm the only one who has the guts to send someone into a pine tree in this manner for what reckless driving at best and then my deputy here with something to prove comes in that just got our case thrown out of court way to go buddy i'm pulling up on the scene disgusted at the sight that i'm looking at we're gonna lay this pit maneuver on him right here we're putting you to the test buddy if you want to speed there goes the bumper from the barrier all the way across the road he's gonna smoke the bridge he saved it through the sign literally through the sign what the hell is that damn it would have been great if that had physics too oh no oh my Promotion immediately, immediately give him a promotion for unprecedented services to the community. It is nice to have backup. Oh, he brake tested me. Where have I seen this before? And look at him, he's wrapping it up all on his own. There he goes into the wall. Do you feel good about yourself? Does that make you feel pride? Oh, and here comes Roscoe B. Coltrane over here to save the day. Thanks, buddy. Oh my God. Can I save this? I'm gonna treat it like a monster truck. I can! Oh, it is like a monster truck. Oh, man, that just gave me good memories here. Beam Monsters coming back soon. We're gonna get another one of those episodes popping here before long. Let me put this guy in cuffs and behind a couple of bars real quick, though. And that should do it. Well, this replay is under review here for brake testing. I guess I'm the FIA stewards in that scenario. And this guy's jumping the curb, bending the wheels, and I send you to a hard lick into the wall. Set him to concussion protocol and get him out of my sight. Throw him in the jail. Then I think I'm doing the right thing. I innocently parked the bus in front of them and the Blues Brothers police decide to show up on the scene and just make this an absolute debacle. So that was nice for them to do. Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to get back on my wheels like a turtle trying to right itself. I'm doing a half a break dance and turn this thing around slowly but surely to go throw a man behind bars here as our police drone will show you in fine detail. Man, I love this camera editor. This thing is a legendary addition. This particular car is under suspicion of being a Decepticon. There's only one thing you can do with those guys. You must eliminate. For all my Wreckfest people, you already know the process is very similar to that of the disposal of Terminators. You want to talk about disposal? That is a serious rap job around this pole. Ignore me crashing in the background. These giant pillars are extremely inviting. And here's our chance to send it right here. But we pay him a visit. What the heck? Oh my goodness, we shredded him on the pole. We turned him into a one-seater. I almost want to see if I can turn this guy around somehow and get him over the other way. Come on, oh, we shattered his window. We shattered my bumper and he's in a tree. Horrible accident. Oh, is he gonna get smoked? No, my deputy actually got out of the way for once. No, I'll put the work in on him then. I think we got him. Come on, I can flip you around. Shh, oh, there goes that. That bumper is made of paper. Hey, mine is too. I think mine just shredded off halfway. You going back in that tree? You and it are going to become real good friends here, aren't you? Oh, now you decide to come in and lay it in. Thanks, deputy. Oh, yeah, let him have it. Come on, let him go, you jerk. Whose side am I on? I'm getting paid under the table over here or something. Easy, corrupt cop. Here, we'll put him down. Then I got to save some face here before I get fired. Jeez, look what you made me do. We're just trying to let this guy turn around. We can make this interesting. You know it's good when I get to the bumper before we even get to the deputy. I'll run you off the road, dude. I'll run you back on the road. We're going up the bank, King. Over. I did a skateboard grind on the very... Oh, and I just rear-ended my deputy. Well, roadblock enabled. Come on, get through me if you can, buddy. Thank God I ain't got a passenger running with me. No ride-alongs today. 
Come on, deputy. Unless that fuel tank is ruptured, you better get over here and box this guy in. Thank you. On command, this guy's good. So that rum is actually good enough for a gold medal, so we have to review it and see how we got there. This is exactly how they draw it up in the policing handbook. You gotta send the guy over two lanes of traffic and then do a tailpipe inspection on your nearest colleague. And whatever's left of you after that, you just sacrifice yourself to the suspect. And if it stops him, good. If not, well, hopefully we don't ever have to find out. What we did find out is that our deputy is actually worth somewhat of a damn when he comes in and finishes off this blocking in, even if he left his bumper over there. And with that, we'll roll into our next heat of pursuit here. This is number four. We got a noise complaint in the neighborhood and a guy taking off on us. That just cannot be. There could be kids playing in the street. There could be elderly grandmothers crossing the street. You never know what you're gonna run into in the friggin' neighborhood out here. We can't have some maniac. Look, we got other cars. You got civilians driving their normal cars out here. They could be killed. This guy is hustling, hustling through these streets, too. This is not the place to be doing it. My police drone can barely keep up. I'm gonna smash into somebody's window here in a sec. I'm gonna look like a bird at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And for what? For a bum that can't even make a corner. He's racing over the rocks here. We gotta take advantage of this. This guy's too dumb. But he's too good. He's driving off and I'm over here doing donuts and eating them. I'm not entirely sure what this guy tries to do. I'm not sure if he woke up and drank some vigilante juice this morning. This may be Dog the Bounty Hunter, but it backfires when he then goes forward into me as I'm going by. What a stooge. I guess this guy just gets defiant now towards normal cars. He about runs this guy off the road in front of the Back to the Future neighborhood here. And I can barely even keep up. We're racing towards the movie studio. This is going to be a documentary one day. No brakes through the intersection. He definitely sideswiped that little yellow car. Did not look even one way, let alone two, which is a great idea on the interstate now this is just starting to get picturesque you could put this in the movie we're bashing that bumper right off he's my rusty i'm jeff gordon now this guy's swerving in and out of lanes oncoming traffic we got cars all around here we got to put this guy down with a pit maneuver right what other option do i have until he turns around just drives back the other way like nothing even happened okay that's cool here's a scene straight out of need for speed we got to drive through the ditch down here to get around the civilian vehicle then our assailant just blows the corner and throws it right into the guardrail bends up another fender just when we needed another corner on that car torn up. He sends it, almost rolls it right there. So just when you think this guy can't be any bigger of a jackass, what are you even doing? Oncoming lanes, another car, nowhere to go. The other car has just no reaction to this other than to just take the hit. And our suspect here, his car's looking rather rough. Old buddy can keep on trying, but it ain't gonna go too well. Hey, bus stop check. Hey, next bus headed to rock bottom. Hope we don't have to use the bathroom anytime soon. And look at him, he just did the work for us. He can't even drive away. We're gonna make sure he doesn't drive away. We put him down. We're not gonna get any gold medals for this one, but it feels good to get rid of him. See ya. Flash back to the city now, racing through the streets, trying to shut this one down a little earlier. We hit him with the dump. Oh, he turned him and put the bumper bars right in that vendor, right in that wheelhouse. He's not too happy about that. He gave us a little kiss on the way by. Back me up into someone's front door. That was a nice, now we're tearing up someone's lawn. It's all worth it though, because observe with your own eyes. This guy has no regard for anything, so why should I? We gotta make moves out here right through the bushes of someone's house. The landscapers are not gonna be pleased about that one, but the least we can do to make it up to him is get the guy. And there we pit him into a pole. We just go ahead and redesign that frame structure a little bit. Just a couple of modifications. The kids are gonna love it. Except you're never gonna see him again because you're gonna be in jail. Well, the neighborhood didn't work out too good for this guy, so maybe the freeway will work better. That's a bold take. He just about takes out a civilian there on the road through the tolls. That's another charge. We're racking up charges like you wouldn't believe. We're just gonna stick this guy with everything. Look at this beautiful sky lines are racing on the freeway it's the last thing you're ever gonna see i'm gonna handcuff you and you're gonna get a bag thrown over your head and beaten and thrown in the back of a paddy wagon if you even make it that far you don't splatter yourself on the freeway first because what is this he saw two civilians in front of him and just had a full mechanical meltdown he makes it all the way down here to the entrance of the tunnel now the furthest he's gotten so far we got cars diving out of the way and smartly so because i'm knocking down the walls digging so deep trying to send it on this guy it is an incredibly noble cause though because once we get there we inflict the damage that this guy deserves we're getting him out of the way of these civilian cars running through these tunnels i actually get him almost nearly in the way of a civilian car we try to run him off the road by getting upside of him and then i realize there's a car right there i'm about to cause a horrendous accident so i back off it for a second and decide let's just cause the horrendous accident down here instead so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you convert your suspect's car into a chop top in just a couple easy steps. We got one in dash cam vision here. Pretend we're back in the department reviewing a critical incident, and I don't know when these guys are gonna learn not to brake check me, but it's not gonna go well for them or me. 
by the looks of it, dead. We'll get an even better look at that from the external view here, as you can see. That is just a set, nothing more, nothing less. If there was a poor passenger in this car on this day, they chose a bad day to get in. I'm gonna jump the curb and tear up someone's yard to pull up here. I'll do it in the name of the law. Watch out for the Oh, no! I don't even think I can hit the bush shortcut thing from here. Oh yeah, I can. That's just a bad angle for it. Oh my. Rolling in the residential neighborhood. Back at the department, we have another critical incident to review. Maybe some excessive force used here. Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do though. He's driving all over the road. He's being a maniac. If you gotta send somebody in a cabin, you gotta do it. I don't make the rules here. I just enforce them. Well, we gotta look at this one again here from the external view. This looks like it could be a movie here. Chasing through the mountains here. We almost took out a family of sedans and hatchbacks here. Yeah, could have been tragic. And of course, we have this takedown right here. And I took out my own suspension with this one by the looks of it. I don't think my own car is doing too good. Another day, another dash can. That's not good as we got our suspect plowing into a civvy. He sends a family and a hatchback into the rocks, burst into flames. We gotta get some retribution. How can we not have redemption for the family, even if it comes at a cost? Well, if there's anything left of our suspect here, we might have to lock him up for an easy thousand or so years. The gallows might even be in order. This car burst into flames. You just gave the whole family a value-packed bundle of whiplash. You're a real great guy. You're an atrocity is what you are. And then look, you even with a decency to save the car, you gotta come get wadded up by the police. Way to go. There shouldn't be anything left of you after that. I think that's a job well done, if you ask me. Running out of options here. We gotta just go for the block, I think. We just throw a roadblock on him right here at the brakes. The brakes! No, we slid too far. I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it. Get your ass back. If you take out even one civilian, it's gonna be your ass, dude. I saw you hit that white car. It's over. That's it. If I get my hands on this guy. Remember that one dude? Years ago, I threw him into a ravine. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about this? Oh, I'm gonna throw you into something even worse for what you did. Look what he did! He pushed me on the guardrail. That's genius, actually. What to do about him down here is the question. You slam him in the fence? You body him in the fence? There you go. That'll do it. That just shortened his car up quite a bit. Oh, and the fence strikes back. Who put that gap in the fence there? I'll, I'll help you off of it. Oh, and down in the river you go. Yeah, come on. Oh, I got my tailpipe right in your face right now. How do you feel about this? Take that. I mean, if you still haven't learned your lesson about oncoming lanes at this point, what more can I teach you without doing that? We just beheaded a car. We just decapitated a car and its head, it's still revving the engine. Well, you'll see it here in 4K from our LAPD style helicopter cam that I just saw this car in half. That has to be a crime. My trial will probably be starting pretty soon. That's a gold medal in my eyes, so. That might be a good place to call it a day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be where we wrap up this installment of Beam and G Drive Police Chases. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, I had a blast putting this one together. I had a lot of fun doing things differently, getting a little creative with the camera path editors, and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. So please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this one and what you'd like to see here in the future. What I'm thinking of doing is probably getting more creative with the Beam and G content this year and adding it into our repertoire. I have almost 470 hours in Beam and G on Steam. Like I have an obscene amount of time playing this game and it's about time I start making some content with it because the possibilities are just about endless and I'm really looking forward to it so I hope you guys are too thank you so much for watching once again you know what to do hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed it and with that I will see you all in the next one peace